Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question. And the question says that Victor purchased a penthouse for two hundred thousand dollars. The value of the penthouse depreciates to one hundred and forty-five thousand eight hundred dollars after three years. Find the rate of depreciation. The compound interest formula is. A is equal to P into one plus R upon hundred raised to power n. The value of growth factor is one plus R upon hundred, and the value of Decay factor is one minus R upon hundred. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. According to the question, we need to find the rate of depreciation if Victor purchased a penthouse for two hundred thousand dollars and. The value of the penthouse depreciates to one hundred and forty-five thousand eight hundred dollars after three years. As we have to find the rate of depreciation, so let the depreciation rate be R percent per annum. Given that time n is equal to three years, as the value of the penthouse depreciates, therefore, using the formula with decay factor, we have a is equal to p into one minus r upon hundred raised to power n, where A is the value of the penthouse after three years, and P is the present value of the penthouse. The value of the penthouse after three years is given to us as one hundred and forty-five thousand eight hundred dollars, and the present value. Of the penthouse is given to us as two hundred thousand dollars. So one hundred and forty-five thousand eight hundred is equal to two hundred thousand into one minus R upon hundred raised to power three. This implies one hundred and forty-five thousand eight hundred upon Two hundred thousand is equal to one minus R upon hundred raised to power three. After cancelling the zeros, we have one thousand four hundred and fifty-eight upon two thousand is equal to one minus R upon hundred raised to power three, which implies. Seven twenty nine upon thousand is equal to one minus R upon hundred raised to power three. As seven twenty nine is the cube of nine and thousand is the cube of ten, so this becomes nine upon ten whole cube is equal to one minus R upon hundred raised to power three. Taking the cube roots on both sides, this implies nine upon ten is equal to one minus r upon hundred, which implies r upon hundred is equal to one minus nine upon ten, which is equal to ten minus nine upon ten, which is equal to one by ten. So, r is equal to Hundred upon ten, which is equal to ten. This implies that rate of depreciation is one 
is equal to 10% per annum, which is our answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.